Tesla's quarter two earnings call just wrapped up, and once again, all eyes were on Optimus. Excitement was clearly in the air after Elon Musk confirmed several key updates about the upcoming Tesla Bot version 3. Most notably, a major design overhaul compared to the current 2.5 version we've seen so far. Now we know design isn't the most important aspect of a humanoid robot, but let's be honest, it still matters. Nobody wants to buy a robot that looks like some creepy Terminator, right? But that's not all. Musk emphasized that Tesla Bot 3 will feature significantly more degrees of freedom. If you know anything about humanoid robotics, you'll know how critical that is. It directly impacts how human-like the robot can be in its movements and functionality. Okay, version 3 of Optimus is expected to be capable of performing up to 3,000 useful tasks. And according to Elon, once again this will be Tesla's most mass-produced and biggest product yet. So the big question, how much will this version cost? And what's Tesla's roadmap for commercialization? Let's dive into the details. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Just a few days ago, Tesla Diner officially opened, and what better way to promote it than by bringing Optimus in to serve popcorn to customers? A lot of people were amused and even excited by it. Most had the same thought, what if I had a Tesla bot at home to serve? Well, that idea might not be too far off since Tesla bots are set to go on sale next year, though at first, supply will be limited. At the start of Tesla's Q2 earnings call, Elon Musk jumped right into talking about Optimus. Unfortunately, the audio quality during the call was pretty bad, so we won't be using clips in today's video. Instead, we'll just recap what Elon said. He mentioned that, we're evolving to opt Optimus design and getting Optimus to the point where it is a phenomenal design. Optimus is currently at version 2.5. Optimus 3 is an exquisite design in my opinion, and will be an incred. As I've said many times before, I predict it will be the biggest product ever. Musk called Optimus 3 a phenomenal design and predicted it could become the biggest product ever. Of course, this isn't the first time Musk has made these claims because on earlier posts on X, he wrote, Optimus 3 will have agility roughly equal to an agile human. But this time, he emphasized that every part of Optimus was designed based on fundamental physics principles. With version 3, the robot has been almost completely redesigned compared to version 2.5. According to leaks, Optimus 3 will feature a face with an integrated digital display and Grok voice support, something Musk had previously confirmed. The display will show its current status and any information the user wants to look up. In simple terms, it'll be like having a computer screen right on the Tesla bot's face. Meanwhile, when it comes to the body, Tesla is reportedly aiming for a lighter design in an effort to improve Optimus's walking speed. It still hasn't hit the company's target of 5 miles per hour. It's unclear exactly how the engineering team plans to update the body. It could mean switching to lighter materials or redesigning the still rough joint structure. But according to Elon Musk, the new design is going to be something extraordinary, and it's expected to be revealed later this year. Elon stated, With Optimus 3, which is really the right design, it's like it doesn't have at this point. There's no significant flaws with the Optimus 3 design, but it, we are going to retool a bunch of things. So it's it'll probably be prototypes of Optimus 3 into this year and then scale production next year. If our prediction is right, Elon Musk will likely unveil Tesla Bot version 3 at the biggest event this November, Tesla Shareholder Meeting 2025. That would make perfect sense especially since Musk has hinted at the idea of being joined on stage by a few Optimus robots during the annual shareholder meeting. They might do something fun like dance or bring a mic to the stage. One thing we're confident about, Optimus version 3 is coming by the end of this year, marking exactly two years since Gen 2 was introduced in late 2023. The redesign of Optimus 3 also plays a key role in expanding the number of useful tasks it can perform. A better design allows Tesla to add more degrees of freedom, making the robot more capable and versatile. In fact, Elon Musk addressed a popular question from investors. What specific factory tasks is Optimus currently performing? And what's the expected timeline for scaling production to allow external sales? Also, how does Tesla see Optimus contributing to revenue over the next two to three years? In response to this question, Musk confidently said, the Optimus 3 design, as I mentioned earlier, I think finally the right design. There'll be further optimizations, but there are no fundamental changes to that are needed for the Optimus 3 design. It has all the degrees of freedom 
that you really want or need. So you know, we'll have prototypes of that in three months and we'll certainly start production in the beginning of next year. Degrees of freedom refer to the number of independent ways a robot can move. For example, a robotic arm might rotate, bend, or move up and down. Each of those movements counts as one degree of freedom. With a more optimized design, Tesla can integrate additional joints, motors, and advanced sensors, making Optimus more agile and capable of handling complex tasks. Right now, Optimus version 2.5 can handle around 1,500 basic tasks. But with version 3, that number could easily double because the bot will be able to perform a wider variety of actions. For instance, while Optimus 2.5 might be able to hold an egg without breaking it, Optimus 3 could take it a step further, crack the egg, cook it, and serve up a fried egg, you get the idea. The more degrees of freedom it has, the more precise and versatile it becomes. Hitting 3,000 tasks wouldn't be surprising at all. However, alongside the exciting news about the new version, Elon Musk was also candid in admitting that developing Tesla Bot version 3 is an extremely difficult problem. He pointed out that none of the components are off the shelf, because frankly, nothing out there is truly suitable for such an advanced robot. From the motors and gearboxes to power electronics and sensors, every single part is custom designed by Tesla. Musk stated, It's a very hard problem to solve. You have to design every part of it from physics first principles. There's nothing that's off the shelf that actually works. So you're going to design every motor, gearbox, power electronics, control electronics, sensors, the mechanical elements. We also got to train Optimus to you use its limbs and its sensors with a neural net. Interestingly, Musk once again drew a parallel between Optimus and Tesla's EVs, saying both are essentially robots, just in different forms. He emphasized that Tesla is applying the same AI optimization techniques from its self-driving cars to Optimus. That includes training the robot's limbs and sensors using neural networks. During the meeting, Musk confidently declared that Tesla is the best in the world at real-world AI. He explained that the company's experience with full self-driving gives Optimus a major advantage when it comes to operating smoothly in real environments. At the very least, It'll be able to avoid obstacles effectively and build its own map to navigate just about any setting. Musk also revealed that Tesla is working to ramp up Optimus production as quickly as possible. In a bold prediction, he said Tesla could be building up to 100,000 Optimus robots per month by the year 2030, an estimate that honestly left us stunned. He emphasized that he would be very shocked if Tesla doesn't hit this target within five years. However, Musk also openly admitted that the first one to two years will be tough, as issues like supply chain disruptions or internal errors could arise when developing a groundbreaking product like Optimus. The Tesla CEO also acknowledged that adding new features to Optimus 3 might slow growth due to potential supply chain interruptions or internal mistakes. We see this as a realistic warning, since Tesla often faces challenges when scaling up production. We're not always on time, but we get it done, Musk said, referencing the company's tendency to make the impossible feel late. He also reiterated the idea that Tesla can be the most valuable company in the world if it executes very well. Elon Musk has previously emphasized that the improved design of Optimus 3 is optimized for mass production. However, we need to clarify that mass production doesn't necessarily mean Optimus 3 will be cheap. Our most optimistic estimate puts the price at $50,000. Compared to the $20,000 price Elon Musk has mentioned multiple times, that's definitely not a low price. But let's break down why. Even at $50,000, Optimus version 3 would still be a worthwhile investment. First off, Optimus can handle thousands of tasks from cleaning and caring for the elderly or kids to assisting in manufacturing. It can save a lot on labor costs. For example, in the U.S., a worker earns about $35,000 a year, while Optimus can work continuously way more hours than a person can in a year. It doesn't need to sleep only about 20 minutes to fully charge, and can work non-stop for 8 hours. For households, instead of paying $2,400 to $6,000 a year for a housekeeper, Optimus can take care of chores like cleaning, laundry, pet care, and even help with kids learning so you'd recoup your investment pretty quickly. Elon Musk stated Tesla bot will be everywhere among the 8 billion people worldwide, 
and the $20,000 price might be for Optimus Gen 2. Do you think Optimus can really pay for itself like Musk claims? Basically, that's what Elon Musk said about Optimus at the earning call. There's still a lot that needs to be done and sped up moving forward. Tesla Optimus isn't your typical product, and Optimus 3 demands even more advanced engineering. So, we're really looking forward to seeing what the prototype of this new version will be like. Now, let's get back to the role of the Tesla bot at the Supercharger Diner. Musk said Optimus will be getting a promotion in 2026, and it will be a food runner, bringing your order straight to your car, eliminating the need to go inside yourself. That means right now we only see it serving popcorn, but next year it'll be a lot busier. And of course this increased activity is definitely something we'll be excited about. Moving on to a few other important announcements from the earnings call, Musk reaffirmed Tesla's commitment to robo-taxi technology. The ride-hailing service is expected to expand within the geo-fenced areas of Austin over the next two weeks. Tesla is also preparing to seek regulatory approvals in regions like the Bay Area, Nevada, Arizona, and Florida. Musk expects that by the end of 2025, the robo-taxi network could cover half of the U.S., depending on the approvals. During the meeting, Elon Musk also reiterated that Tesla's tech edge gives the company significant long-term profitability. However, he acknowledged that the company's recent downturn will likely continue or even worsen temporarily until the new autonomous transport projects start generating revenue. One hot topic right now is the deadline after the federal $7,500 tax credit for EV purchases expires on September 30th. The Model Y is currently one of Tesla's most affordable car, with the RWD version starting at around $45,000. This has been a key factor in making the Model Y the best-selling car in several countries like Turkey, Switzerland, Austria, and a few others. Its popularity highlights the huge potential of the Model Y, especially since it's basically leading the market and could become the top-selling car in 2025. The increase in Model Y production this quarter is a big step forward, showing Tesla's efforts to meet growing consumer demand. On top of that, Tesla has confirmed plans to develop a new, more affordable model expected to launch in 2025, with initial production already kicking off in the first half of the year. This is exciting news, especially as Tesla is committed to offering a lower-cost EV option that fits a wider range of customers. However, this plan has faced some hurdles. The launch of the cheaper model has been delayed due to cuts in EV tax credits and the company's focus on retooling factories to produce the new car. Tesla expects to ramp up production next quarter, though that's slower than originally planned. A key highlight of this affordable model is its ability to integrate full self-driving, an advanced feature that adds a lot of value. Initial production will start in North America, and Tesla is working hard to stay on schedule. If all goes well, the car could hit the market by quarter four this year, promising to open a new chapter for affordable electric vehicles. With a lower price than the Model Y and full self-driving technology included, this could be a game-changer for Tesla to expand its market share, especially in price-sensitive areas. Additionally, Tesla plans to continue pursuing a new production method for the CyberCab in 2026, possibly using a revolutionary assembly line called the unbox process. Unlike expectations around superior handling or impressive cornering, the CyberCab is designed to be a safe, affordable taxi. With a lighter, much more efficient design, it focuses on smooth, easy rides, perfect for daily passenger pickups and drop-offs. Musk also emphasized that the cost per mile for the CyberCab will be very low, much cheaper than Tesla's current fleet. Tesla is continuing to prepare for a wider rollout of FSD supervised in China, currently awaiting regulatory approval. Although FSD is already available there, it's currently limited to hardware 4, showing that Tesla is optimizing the tech to meet local standards. At the same time, Tesla is getting ready to launch FSD supervised in Europe, but still needs regulatory approval. Once approved, sales in Europe are expected to increase significantly. This quarter, Tesla successfully completed an automated delivery of a Model Y to a customer within 30 minutes, including highway driving, a major milestone after a lot of effort and time, marking the first successful autonomous delivery. 
This is just the beginning of the next phase, with plans to roll out self-deliveries in the Bay Area and Austin by the end of the year. Robotaxis have already logged 7,000 miles with a limited number of vehicles, and expansion of both the service areas and fleet will happen soon, which is expected to have a big financial impact for Tesla by the end of 2026. As a conclusion for today's episode, Tesla Optimus could be a revolutionary product not just in technology, but in how we live and work. By automating repetitive and dangerous tasks, Optimus will help reduce reliance on manual labor while boosting productivity and cutting costs. Powered by advanced AI, Optimus could take on a wide range of roles, from elder care to industrial support, completely changing how we interact with our jobs and daily lives. That said, the rise of Tesla Optimus could also bring significant challenges for employment. Many current jobs, especially in manufacturing, healthcare, and warehouse operations, might be replaced by robots. This raises concerns about job losses for workers who can't easily adapt to new technology. However, Optimus's arrival also opens new opportunities. It will create demand for jobs in robot research, development, and maintenance, as well as new roles in creative fields where humans can fully leverage their thinking and emotional skills. So the future of Tesla Optimus isn't just about technological change, it's also about a transformation in the labor market. If managed and regulated properly, Optimus could create a future full of new job opportunities. With the upcoming upgrade to Optimus 3, we see this as a bold move, showing that Tesla isn't just aiming to build a robot, but a true technological masterpiece.